Welcome to St. Michael's Easter Podcast Series. My name is Michael Harmuth, and I will be leading our meditation today. Our theme this Easter is community, rediscovering one another. After being physically separated for more than a year, we look forward to the opportunity to reconnect and become even more kind of a community that God intends. May the power of the resurrection strengthen us on this journey. Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Our scripture reading is from the letter of James, chapter 5, verses 13 through 18. Is anyone among you in trouble? Let them pray. Is anyone happy? Let them sing songs of praise. Is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Elijah was a human being, even as we are. He prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and it did not rain on the land for three and a half years. Again he prayed, and the heavens gave rain, and the earth produced its crops. Here ends the reading. What do you think about prayer? That is our question. Our connection to the risen Lord is through prayer. Henry Nouwen speaks about the importance of prayer in his book, Reaching Out. He says, prayer is the language of the Christian community. In prayer, the nature of the community becomes visible because in prayer we direct ourselves to the one who forms the community. Praying is not one of the many things that the community does. Rather, it is the very being. Well, when prayer is no longer its primary concern, the community quickly degenerates into a club with a common cause but no common vocation. I believe it is important that we, a risen people in Christ, gather together in the live streaming worship services during the COVID-19 era while we still can pray together. When we reach out to God as a community and individually, we enter into an intimate union with the risen Christ. Then we know the answer to the question, what do you think about prayer? As James says in his letter, is anyone among you in trouble? Let them pray. Then as now one says the words of the old program song, Psalm 121 becomes our song. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. And he watches over you and will not fall asleep. Amen. Please join me now as we continue with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O God, whose blessed Son made himself known to his disciples in the breaking of the bread. Open the eyes of our faith 
that we may behold him in all his redeeming work, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen.